All right, hey guys, welcome to this new tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to use our burning paper transition in After Effects. So I have my footage here. I'm gonna drag in the one I want to transition from. So for me, it's going to be this one. All right, so one thing I like about this clip is that it actually turns slightly orange and red. So that works really well with the transition. So I want the timing of the transition to happen around here. So I'm going to just go to around here. I'm going to press B. That creates the beginning point. All right, then I'm going to come to around here. I'm going to press N to set the end point. Then I'm going to right click in the work area and trim comp to work area. Then you can also press Ctrl and K and reset your time code if you'd like to. All right, once I have this, I'm going to bring in the second clip, this one going to have this above. I'm going to use it from around here. So I'm going to press Alt and in bracket. And I'm going to go where I want the transition to start. So I want the transition to start from around this point. So I'm going to grab this, press Shift and drag it so it clips to the timeline. And now I'm going to go into the burning paper transition pack and I'm going to choose which one I like. So my personal favorite one is burning paper number six. And I'm going to bring it in above the layers. I'm going to press shift again and drag it to the beginning of the second clip. I'm going to go from what I want to transition from and go on alpha inverted map. All right, so as you can see, the transition is already happening by using the embedded alpha within the video file. So now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this footage and then make it visible and going to change the blending mode to be screen. So as you can see now, the flames are visible as well. So depending on your content, for example, for a music video, this could work very well. You could search for a hue and saturation effect in your effects and preset, drag it onto the top layer of the burning paper transition. And you can preview this effect by just changing the master hue. That makes a pretty chirpy effect by changing the color of the fire. So you could come back to the beginning, click on this stopwatch, on channel range, then press U so you can see your keyframe. Go to the end, one of this means that it's a full 360 round, so I'm gonna maybe press two. And as you can see, that creates a very quick flashing colorful uh, transition with the same asset. By pressing one, it's kind of a more of a slower transition within the colors itself. You can also select specific parts of the channel range. So as you can see, it would only use these parts. Rather than using the whole set of colors, you can specify the range you want to use the hue on. And that's just something to add to the style of the music video. But as you can see, there's a lot of potential when using these transitions. And that's the end of the tutorial. You can use this in After Effects very easily. You can bring in elements from Premiere Pro and make the transitions within After Effects, or you can also use this pack within Premiere Pro as well. The tutorial is coming very soon. So don't forget to check out the pack at visualeffectspro.com in our motion graphics and editing category. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video if you like it and find it useful. All right, thank you. Bye.